10k left to go not gonna lie my legs are my legs are like paralyzed there's an option to do the virtual marathon and so i'm training for that i set myself a six week time frame the date i'll be doing the virtual marathon is june 28th so i have six weeks i made a plan to stick to each day for my training nothing like the real event but i'm gonna do my best right now i'm searching for a route to take i'll have my mom there or something to give me those water stops now i have a plan if you don't have a big goal make that goal right now for yourself that maybe you want to hit 10k in a month or however kilometers you're training to do so go big or go home baby and let's train hard out here on my 26 day run. Sometimes we have to crack a smile. 13 more to go. You got it. You're stronger than you could ever imagine. We're leaders for the people. Just remember like, why you're running. For all the ones who have no freedom to run, but my ancestors view a potential to show what I can do, where I can push my mental to show myself that there are no limits, that if I can do this, I can do anything. And I mean, I've already done it. I know I can do it again, and I'm just looking for more intelligence. I'm ready for any type of pay, 20K, 30K, 35K, 38K, 40K, 41K, the last moments of my run. I understand it's going to be painful. It's going to be hard to push that pace that I want to push at. Thank you to my mom for giving me some water at one stop. My sister too. I just kept going, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing with no legs. I just tried fasted cardio. I did a 15K. I did have a banana actually. I feel like I need to eat a little bit more for a 15K. Take time for foam rolling, yoga, pre-warm up, cold shower to heal the inflamed muscles and then once in a while take some hot baths to relax the muscles. Who's going after it today? Third day in a row, 15K. Even 1K is beautiful. If you go out today and do 1K, accomplish my goal of running four days in a row, 15K. No days off. This is the eighth day in a row I ran 10K. Don't let your feelings, your mood, I'm tired, I'm lazy, I don't wanna run. Don't let it stop you. Don't let that demon type thinking stop you. Getting a little 5K in, no music. Just enjoying the noise around me. Let our inner peace take over. Getting some food in, some rice. I got some yam set up, potatoes and salmon. They even said you could go light on some pizza. Well, actually, for my first marathon the night before, I did have pizza, but I didn't eat the cheese. It worked for me. Little five, 10 minute walk before I sleep. Running guided meditations as well that you can use before your runs. Not letting the demons get to us. And we have to unleash this human potential that we have. It's the journey that counts. It's each and every day waking up and training. That's the most fun part about it. You'll see the most progress there because I came a long way since January for sure. Good morning. An hour left to go to the start line. Got the BMO marathon shirt. A couple of cashews, some of these just to fuel up. At 30K perhaps, I'm not gonna take it. I need it and had some breakfast, had a bagel, did a little pre-run hypnosis while I was getting ready and I'll do one while I'm in the car. My sleep, uh, I was thinking too much. I don't think I got proper sleep. I may have, but I felt like I was just thinking about it so much, so uh, yeah. I'm at the start line solo. So I wanna be my personal best and get in the three hour front and mark. Two kilometers in, feeling pretty good going with the pace here, keeping it all the way until the very last step. Enjoy what I have in front of me. Just had a quick cast you. The beginning is toughest, gotta get it going, right? Halfway point, 21.1K, gotta push through. As always, I was created for giving the opportunity to take our spirit and take our soul with us and use it to its highest when we don't do things that are difficult, our vibrations are low. 10k left to go. Not gonna lie, my legs are like paralyzed. Go all the way for this. Thank you. Let's go. Last 4k. I'm dead. My legs are. Go. Keep pushing. Hold in the mind. 42.2 kilometers. BMO virtual marathon. Come please. 
digging my pants for giving me the water stops. You can do it with hard work. No one around me, it's just me and my legs and my soul and my spirit. I know you watching, I know you're supporting. All from the heart, all from the heart. If there's anything you wanna do, you can achieve, but it, it takes a lot of uh, mental work. Because let me tell you, after 30K, I was done. I was done. Uh, I just finished the 5K. Three days after my marathon, slow, slow pace over 30 minutes, 32 minutes, 31 minutes. If you want to be on your own and you want to stay focused, ignore the outer world because you're the one that matters. Put yourself first because then it will help other people in the long run. And it will definitely help you all. Take care of that beautiful soul of yours, precious, sacred soul. I forgot what it's like to actually be real in every moment and every second. I had a realization yesterday. It's like, if you're feeling lost, you're either being fake to yourself or you're being real. As in fake is, you're identifying with your emotions, with external events. But wait, there's two windows. One window for people, emotions, external events. Other window is ourselves. What are we eating? What are we doing? We're working out? We're making that money? Are we studying? Are we meditating? Are we planning our days? Are we writing our thoughts, our realizations? That window, right? So it's like, we have no right to even look at the other window and yet even let them know that they should come along too. This is the truth, you should come along. Man, we got so much that we forgot to do right here. During my marathon training, like I had that in March. I'm like, wake up, let's be real. That's why, and that mindset went away. It disappeared in like, in May, June. I was just training just cause, you know, got my marathon. It's gonna be a new generation. Okay, that's why we're here. No one's gonna remember us. Well. They will if we stick to the truth. The truth right here. <laughs> are you true to yourself or are you fake to yourself? Last night I told myself, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna say, let's be real. Let's be real. Connecting with the rain. If you've come from a slump, if you're doing not much, just tell yourself, let's be real. And just take action and go do it because you don't identify with the past anymore. This is where the truth takes you. It takes you to places like this on your own, <laughs> enjoying the time. Gladly, my legs are recovering much more faster than my last marathon since I had more training. So they aren't as heavy. I ran that with muscle memory. It was a little mental, but not as much. I did have that in March. That's why every day I'd, I'd be like waking up and I'd be just running because I knew what it was like to be real to be fake. But I'll do it. I'm not going ahead with my beats. There were times where I was huffing and puffing. I couldn't breathe, so what I said to myself was... What I said to myself was, you gotta breathe, right? We have to breathe. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's run. You're not breathing too good, right? Right? Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, I can't breathe. Suddenly, you're like, wait. That's not the right mental. You have to say, let's breathe deeply. Let's do our best with our utmost strength to breathe deeply. Let's keep it like that. Use your strength. You can do it. Because there's times where you're going to be huffing and puffing. You don't want to run anymore. At those times, tell yourself, let's take this immense amount of oxygen. Let's breathe through that nose. Let it out. Keep breathing. Keep telling yourself, you are the leader. This is why you're running. You gotta just keep talking to yourself. I think when you talk to yourself, you find the answers. You can listen to me. You can listen to infinite souls and amazing people, such as Spiritual Soul, Von Tukat, all these different teachers and bringing you through their journey. At the same time, we have to remember, we need to be our own teacher. We need to stop for a few hours at the day to teach ourselves. And to be honest, the days that I don't acknowledge my feelings and thoughts and really focus deep down the time where I'm just looking at other people's videos, it helps. It's there for guidance, especially if you want to learn more. But if you're looking for something certain, maybe it's peace, you're trying to figure out something in your life. We're not going to find it in anyone's videos. Beautiful day to get your run and every day is a beautiful day. Appreciate your surroundings, your body, your movement. 
your breath. Sending all my love, life, strength, prosperity, abundance, healing, 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 healing,